Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of Universe Mode here on Monday Night Raw. Again, just like the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. Just like the pay-per-view for Universe Mode. My mic isn't working for some reason. It only works when I'm on Share Factory. So my audio wasn't recorded. I already knew it wasn't working, which is why I'm just doing the voiceover now instead of what I did before and talked through like two hours just for it not to work. So there's not going to be any audio for uh, this episode either. I don't know what's up with my mic. As we see Brock Lesnar making it to the ring, taking on Youngblood. I don't know what's up with my mic. It works only in Share Factory or in certain games. I don't know what's up with it. I'm going to try to figure it out. I just wanted to get this episode out because I started work. So I'm not going to have that much time to do my daily videos and all that. So I'm going to try to do a couple videos a week. So yeah. I'm going to try to figure out what's up on my mic and all that. Thank you guys for watching this episode. I'm going to repeat that at the end, but just thank you guys for watching, supporting, and all that. I'll see you guys next time. Hello and welcome to an explosive 4th of July edition of Monday Night Raw. I'm Michael Cole, joined by WWE Hall of Famer Jerry the King Waller and King. I don't know if it's the holiday or this match, but you look amped up for tonight. Well, you know me, Cole. I always get excited for fireworks, and that's exactly what we're going to have here tonight. Oh, yeah. This one should be great, and it's just going to keep getting better as the night goes on. Winner strikes land. You can feel it in the first few rows. Definitely looking confident in this one-on-one environment. That's a good sign. It's been well known for some time that Brock Lesnar does not discuss his private life. What we do know is he grew up on a farm in South Dakota, and at every amateur level was a champion wrestler who dedicated himself to being pound for pound the best competitor that could be found in any ring. like that can make it hard to breathe. The shoulders are down! Michael, you talked before about Brock Lesnar and how not much is known about his private life. Well, let me tell you something. That's how Brock Lesnar wants it. And I wouldn't recommend anyone trying to convince him to change his policy. We know what we need to know. Brock Lesnar's been a beast in wrestling rings practically his entire life. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. He can do it. Here. I think he's got it. And he kicks out. And he lives to fight again. He's showing the heart of a warrior here tonight. Lesnar looking down at his opponent. That's how you sweep an opponent under the carpet. When you look at the private life of Brock Lesnar and the extent he goes to protect it, it's something that also a uh, quick pin. Can he do it? Maybe. And it's a uh, got the shoulder up. What do you have to do to keep this guy down? Well, that missed him all right. Hey, did you look before firing? What an idiot. Trying to get under 
his opponent's skin to this one. How much damage did that do? A lot from the looks of it. Here we go. He's still going cold. What cuts? We're looking at complete domination here. Looking good now. since the opening bell. Oh, and I don't see any slowing down in the future. This is a great matchup. I'm loving it. Rock moves in. This could be it. The Marco Powerball. The end is near. And it'll never be the same after that. And this is what you can't let Brock Lesnar do. Build this kind of momentum. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. I can't blame him. Keep it in the you get out of the ring anything can happen you've got exposed steel concrete the barricades and all of it can be used to cause massive damage Whoa. i hope everybody enjoyed their picnics earlier today now it's time to sit back relax and close out this independence day with some wwe action Yeah, 
must be throbbing right now. He is just getting busted up. Uh oh, he's in position, ready to strike. Lesnar looking to fly. Brad Lesnar, what a crafty maneuver. Uh oh, there's the finisher. That he could pin his opponent right here. I think this is it. I think we can take this over. It's all. Here's your winner, Rock Lesnar! You're looking at the winner of this one-on-one -on -one match. Wow, I can't believe the amount of punishment that had to be inflicted in order for those shoulders to stay down for a three count. What a great finish to this night. Join us next week on WWE Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 245 pounds, the Apex Predator, Randy Martin. And approaching the ring from Mexico, Albert Rodriguez. Look around. Everybody is on their feet right now. Two of WWE's absolute best preparing. There's the bell. And here we go. We're all off to the line on this one. But make no mistake about it, we're going to have a winner. Working for control. It's come down to a battle of attrition right now. Yeah, it can really go either way at this point. Man, what a struggle. Here's somebody who's willing to do just about anything to get to the top. I like it. That's the way it should be. Randy Orton going for it. Controlling the tempo. Got him. Oh, no. Massive damage done there. Uh-oh. Look out. He took an incredible pounding there. There's a slap. Oh, that's just humiliating. No kidding. I hate to be slapped. That's what I did to Andy Kaufman, you know. Not today. Too fast. Such a move over there. As far as signature finishing moves go in the WWE, Randy Orton's RKO gets a lot of attention. And rightfully so. But his running punt kick to an opponent's head deserves its share of attention, too, because that move is every bit as brutal and bone-crunching as the RKO. No, that slam doesn't look pretty. He's got him hooked. Oh, out of nowhere. A 
my God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a Hey, the shoulders are down! And it's up. He got the shoulder up. We're looking at complete domination here. Well, King, you definitely have a point there. Of course I do. The RKO might be the better known of Orton's finishers, but the end counter, if he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast.
agility. I thought the canvas would break. That slam was powered by superhuman strength. Unbelievable. Somebody's going to get hurt in this match. Superstars. Yeah. And approaching the ring from Gainesville, Georgia, AJ Styles. Man, listening to the reaction this guy gets. And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one on one matchup. Into the collar and elbow tie-up. Only one competitor comes out ahead here. Yeah, this is one of the classic ways to test your opponent. We're at a crossroads. Neither competitor is backing down here. Yeah, and you could cut the tension with a knife. I mean, no one's giving an inch. Oh, this is a standoff. What do you believe Styles is thinking about? That's someone who gets it. Someone who knows the value of hard work and dedication. After that, you're not seeing stars, you're looking at constellations. Oh, wait, nice reversal. Seth Rollins feeling the lockup. Breaking 
game fools up now. A WWE superstar that gets set to go to war with Seth Rollins better have a plan because you can guarantee Rollins is something in store for you. I think to have a chance against Rollins, you have to wear him down. Try and use holds to wear him down and keep him on the mat. Yeah, you're right about that, Michael. Even a smaller opponent will most likely not be able to match speed in Seth Rollins. You have to find a way to keep him out of the air, to wear him down and keep him down.
damage inflicted with a snapmare. Can't wake up from that one. No kidding, that snapmare was uh, especially hard. Taking on some moderate offense here. Going to need to start playing a little better defense. Man, you might need to get a new identification photo taken after this one's over. Sure, my kid. After this one's over, one more than I'm recognizing. Seth Rollins has in this business what we call attitude. Rollins is lightning fast. He can get on that mat and wrestle. He can ball. He can soar through the air. Oh, did I say? Seth Rollins is fearless. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all... Alrighty, guys, joining back in real quick for the end of the match. AJ Styles running back inside the ring, following Seth Rollins. AJ Styles going for a moonsault. Misses Seth Rollins, hits the referee instead. Rollins taking control of that advantage, picking up. AJ Styles, what's he going for? Ooh, and a huge takedown. Rollins now. Signaling in him to get back up. What is Rollins going for? Rollins. Kick to the gut. And a curb stomp by Seth Rollins. And that's got to be it. There is no way AJ's coming back from that. And Seth Rollins, our WWE World Heavyweight Champion, picks up the victory against AJ. AJ trying to get some revenge after what happened at Money in the Bank. If you haven't seen that, again... Go check that out. It was a good pay-per-view. Seth Rollins try or not Seth Rollins. AJ trying to get some revenge on what Seth Rollins tried to do, attacking him at Money in the Bank. Did not work. Cause Seth Rollins still picked up the victory. Thank you guys for watching Monday Night Raw. See you guys on Thursday night SmackDown. Gonna get that out as soon as possible. Thank you for all the support. We'll see you guys in the next episode.